Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Have you ever tried to take a high color image and uh, turn it into uh, just a black and white image? Now, I don't mean a grayscale. I mean like black and white. That's it. Don't adjust your screen right now. I'm applying a live video effect to kind of illustrate a point is that when we try to do this and we're not skilled within the image editor, the image editor that we use uh, isn't being used properly or just isn't capable of doing what we need it to do, then we have to rely on a service that may be able to pull it off. And I found a service for you guys, magnagraph.com. Behind me is a magnagraphed image of one of our screenshots from one of the videos that we've done here at live.perillo.com. Head over to magnigraph.com, M-A-G-N-I-G-R-A-P-H dot C-O-M, that's the dot com, and you can upload any image and it will automatically just push it down to two colors, or really one color, just black and white. And why would you do something like that? Well, if you've always wanted to turn a, a simple logo or a photo into an SVG file, a scalable vector graphics. Uh, that would mean that you could shrink it and enlarge it and it would still stay the same quality. Or if you just wanted to turn something into black and white to have it, say, turned into uh, a brandable item, like uh, you could put it on a t-shirt, a mug, a, a pen, it doesn't matter. You need it to be like this, just one single color. So I could actually go here and I can turn my single color instead of black, I can, I can turn it into red. If I wanted it to be red, I could do that. And, and I know you could probably do this inside an image editor, but the quality isn't always going to turn out that great. In fact, if I turn that effect that I was using back on, I'll show you. Right now, hopefully you can see me, but as I kind of bump up the radius, I'm still here. It's just way more blurry. Like you can't really tell me anymore. This is usually how it turns out. I mean, you got to admit. You gotta admit it. That that ain't that ain't that good. You know, compare that. Compare. Oops, sorry. Compare that particular image to. Ooh, I'm red. Look at that. Go back to the home page because they have samples on the home page of other uploads. Uh, someone uh, a little earlier actually uploaded an image of Leo Laporte, which is really kind of cool. Ooh, is that, is that Beethoven there? And I hit refresh and I get different uh, images that pull up. Uh, people are uploading photos of themselves. Uh, some people have uploaded logos. It's really kind of cool. I've never found a service that does this, but it's good to know that it exists. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to share it with you because inevitably, you're probably going to want to create your own logo uh, someday or take your own logo and put it somewhere, but you can only do that if you are able to hand the printer or the, uh, the, the brander uh, an image that's suitable uh, for printing or sharing or, well, like I said, if you wanted to create an SVG from an image, I don't think there's an easier way, really, at least as far as, you know, this type of image is concerned. Black and white, just like that. In fact, if I wanted to, I used to do this a long time ago. I could take these glyphs, or I could turn them into glyphs. I could take these images, uh, save them out, uh, and as, as just regular bitmaps or whatnot, and then turn the, and, and turn them into font glyphs. It's really kind of neat, just cycling through, and, and you got to be careful because you know these are potentially uncensored, so be forewarned. Uh, but you might get some ideas about what you might be able to upload. Um, so, ooh, some people are scanning in uh, comics there, or just inputting comics. You can either pull the image from the web or, or from your local hard drive or, or one of your local drives. Um, I uh, oh, there's a, a PS2 controller, Dalmatian. Uh, yeah, I used to put these uh, images into font files. It was really kind of neat. Haven't done that in a long while, uh, just because I haven't really needed to. But uh, now you know, magnagraph.com. Great, fantastic, free service. Nothing to register for. And it should work inside of just about any web browser. I don't know about SVG. Of course, hopefully your web browser supports SVG. And if not, it's probably time for you to get a different web browser. No joke. And I'm talking specifically to you. Internet Explorer users, I know you're out there. Don't come crying to me when the web looks horrible. Not my fault. I'm not the one using IE. Not me. You. Potentially. I'm just saying. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of uh, a few other really cool websites like this. I mean, this is unique. I don't know if you've ever seen something like this before. It's easy. You know, those are the things we like sharing with the rest of the community here. And when I say community, I'm talking about a handful of people. I mean, not just geeks. I mean, there are people in here who just love talking about technology. They're not, you know, considered geeks. 
uh, inside their general communities, but they love discovering new things, uh, and they love hanging out, I guess, for some reason. Uh, I do pay attention to the chat room, not as, as much as other people might, but I do, you know, catch it in passing throughout the day, and that's, you know, kind of fun, as long as people aren't annoying. So if you're not annoying, feel free to stop by uh, pretty much any time, day or night. Uh, I'm streaming this live video out, uh, showing people, you know, what I'm discovering throughout the day. They find out before anybody else, really. So if you'd like to be in the know, well, then stop on by, streaming live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.